Hi everyone. Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of this line integral, but by showing the integral is independent on path. That means simply we have to prove that the field is conservative. Okay. So let us write the given integral first. What we have, I will call it as i. i is equal to we have that integral. Okay, integration lower limit is zero to one and one pi by two two. Okay, so I will try to express it as a product of dot product of a bar and dr bar. So see same thing we can write in this way two cos y i right plus one by y minus two x sine y z. Plus one by z k dot product with dx i plus dy z plus dz k. So you know well how to take a dot product multiple of i into multiple of i plus multiple of z into multiple of z plus multiple of k into multiple of k. So yeah, if you follow the definition of dot product again, two cos y into dx, you will have the first one. Getting in this way, you will have the given integral back. See, I have expressed it in this way, so that's why we can write integration zero to one to one pi by two two. So the first bracket is nothing but our a bar, and the second bracket is obviously dr bar. So in this way, we express the given integral as a line integral of a bar or dr bar. So in this way, we got our a bar. So now our task is to prove that that a bar is conservative. So that's why I should consider. Consider del cross a bar. We have to prove that it is zero. Then we can say yes, the a bar is conservative field. Okay. So we have some space. Let us use. Okay. So let me write it here. I will continue it here. So this is equal to. So you know that when cross product is there, we go for the determinant, right? So the first is rho is i j k. Let me draw it properly. Okay, so now del del means divided by divided by xi plus divided by divided by xi plus divided by divided by xi k. So I will write the multiples of xi k here. So that means I should write divided by divided by x, divided by divided by y, and divided uh, divided by divided by xi. Okay, what is our x bar? Our x bar is nothing but this bracket. So here I will write multiple of xi k. So two cos y. Okay. 1 by y minus 2x sine y, right? And the last one is 1 by z. Let us solve the determinant. So you know well how to find the value of determinant, right? I product of these two minus product of these two. That means here we have to take derivative of 1 by z with respect to y. But when you take derivative with respect to y, 1 by z is constant. Derivative will be zero minus. Derivative of this function with respect to z, but z is not there. Getting so or any function of z is not there, so it will be constant. So its derivative will be zero minus z. Derivative of this one with respect to x is zero. Derivative of this one with respect to z is zero again. Okay, so it's very simple now. Now k product of this two minus product of this two. So here we have to find its derivative with respect to x. Derivative of one by y will be zero. Getting so when you talk about its derivative, minus two sine y is constant. Derivative of x is one since we are finding derivative with respect to x. Minus. Okay, so let us find its derivative. Derivative of this one with respect to y. What is derivative of cos y? Minus sine y. So we have minus minus plus two sine y. So the first two brackets have zero values. If you talk about last bracket, these two terms will get cancelled to each other, and we will have zero. So obviously the answer is zero bar. So finally we proved del cross a bar is zero bar. So therefore we say a bar is conservative. So therefore a bar is conservative. Okay. So it means therefore we can write integration c a bar dot dr bar is independent. Is independent on C and depends depends only on end points. Getting so that means when you solve this integral, it is independent on curve C. Okay, it depends only on this starting point and ending point. 
So after that, what will we do? We will find potential function of f bar. Okay, make a screenshot of it and we will go further. So now I consider let phi be a potential function of f bar. Okay, so you know the meaning of potential function. So therefore, we can write f bar is equal to del phi. So let us put the values. What is our f bar? Let me write here f bar is 2 cos y. Get it? Comma 1 by y minus 2x sin y comma and after that we have 1 by z is equal to see the f bar we can write in terms of isaac here also but you can express as an element of r3 also doesn't matter both have the same meaning del phi you know that it is dev phi by dev x dev phi by dev y and dev phi by dev z so let us compare compare okay comparing see what will you get the first component dev phi by dev x is equal to the first component here which is 2 cos y. Second component dev phi by dev y right? Yes. Yes. With this one 1 by y minus 2x sin y. 2x I should write. Yes. And dev phi by dev z. Last component is equal to 1 by z. Okay. So we got partial derivatives of phi with respect to x, y and z. But our main task is to find derivative of uh, see, the task is to find phi, getting we don't want derivative, we want the actual function phi. So the technique is very simple. We will integrate all these functions. So first integration, see phi we have a derivative with respect to x, so I will take integration with respect to x. Derivative and integration with respect to x will get cancelled to each other and we will have the function phi. Phi here integration if I am taking with respect to x, 2y is constant, so you will have 2x cos y. Plus, I should write psi 1 of yz. That is a constant of integration. Since y and z are constant, so constant of integration can contain some functions of y and z. See here, for second function, okay, for second part, I will integrate with respect to y, since we have derivative with respect to y. So here we will have phi only. Integration of 1 by y is log y, get it? Minus. Yes, 2x is constant integration of sine y is minus cos y. So, minus minus plus cos y, I should write here, psi 2 of xz. Since x and z are constants here, we are taking integration with respect to y. So, now here I will take integrate with respect to z. Okay, so its integration will be log z plus I should write here, psi 3 of x y okay since x and y are constant so therefore phi is equal to let me write directly what we do first of all we will try to write a common function okay we have 2x cos y let me write 2x cos y okay and yes 2x cos y is repeating here but we will write only for one time next log y we have let me write log y and log z also we have log z so in this way we have covered all functions so at the end i should write plus c which is a constant of integration so this is a required function phi okay so yes let us go further to find the value of that integration make a screenshot of it first so now let us find the value of that integral okay so purposely i have kept phi here since we are going to use it see now integration or uh, c or that point we can write 0 to 1 to 1 pi by 2 to a bar dot dr bar so you know that a bar dot dr bar okay we know that a bar is equal to del phi let me write it here integration 0 1 2 1 pi by 2 2 so del phi dot dr bar a bar is equal to del phi okay since phi is a potential function of a bar so this is equal to integration 0 to 1 1 pi by 2 2 so this is nothing but d phi so its integration is obviously phi so yes let me write here phi with limits 0 to 1 and 1 pi by 2 2 so we can write such things very easily because we have proved field is conservative that's why an integral is independent on path okay so yes we have some space let us use okay so let me put phi here what is our phi it is 2x cos y right plus log y right see you know that log y plus log z log a plus log b is equal to log a into b so using that result of log we can write log yz directly 
which limits 0 to 1 and here we have 1 pi by 2 and 2. Let us put upper limit first. Okay, I am going to put here. See, I will directly put. Huh? See, x is equal to 1, y is equal to pi by 2. You know that cos pi by 2 is 0. So, the force form will be 0. Plus, here I am putting y is equal to pi by 2 and z is equal to 2. If I put 2 and 1 by 2 will get cancelled and we will have log pi. Okay, so minus. Let us put lower limit. I am putting a 0 to 1 here. x 0, 0 to anything 0. No need to worry about it. 0 directly I can write. And when I write it here, uh, y 2 and z 1. So log 2 we will have, right? So what we are getting log pi minus log 2. Again, we can use the property of log. Log a minus log b is equal to log a upon b. So directly we can write this is nothing but log pi by 2 this is required answer okay so yes make a screenshot of it then we will stop